Welcome back. Let's get started. Hmm. This is gonna be fun. I'll just be the resistance. Yeah, sure. I'm actually considering playing Overwatch. I did play Overwatch at one point, but the game froze, and the system crashed, and then I just gave up. Yeah, that was kind of weird. But, I'm just gonna like, play this until I get tired of it. I'm gonna play for a few hours. Just drinking some cocaine. Probably just gonna play this for three hours and then I'm gonna play Overwatch. Maybe for three hours. Stick together, team. Oh jeez. to nowhere. Yeah, I keep forgetting to change that gun. Inside, not a perfect place to hide. Man, I have not played Overwatch in a while. Ooh, kill assist. Wow, I didn't think that would work. Huh. We're sending them out. 
Holy crap. <laughs> At least I got a kill streak of some kind. But wow, that was a decent kill streak for me anyways. Keep affecting that affects me too. Well, we won, so that's something. Um, yay. Hmm. That's fine. Let's see how low I am in the scoreboard. Seven eliminations. How many kill? Five deaths. That's... That's amazing. That's a thing. That's a thing that happened. Mm hmm. Yes, I will. I'm a level late assault. I'm not gonna make that stupid joke I did last time. Mostly because someone's gonna be watching this after the live stream. It's gonna be uploaded to my account. I wanted to do another, uh, I, I'm hoping there's going to be another Mass Effect because I liked playing the first game. I mean, it wasn't great, but you know, Resistance I enjoyed. The base. Launch a counter -attack. I mean, like... That's great. I enjoyed live streaming that game. Resistance troops stand no chance of success.
That sucked. That's great. We're a team. Are we? Their forces are weakening. We're dead. I'm saying so much generic crap here. For those of you tuning in, I am getting my ass kicked. Very, very much. Oh my goodness. Jump. Oh, my goodness. Whatever you need. Yeah, I should have ran away instead of like. Yeah. Their forces are becoming weak. Keep up the attack. No, I think we're just becoming worse. I don't know what game you're watching, ref. Everybody. Stop the resistance troops now. Don't tell me what to do. Man, I should have just blew him up. Let's go. I don't have any grenades. It's a close game, but you know what? You know, work on your pep talk. Marching targets moving in. Wow. Don't know why I didn't have a gas grenade on me. Do not falter. Fight back. Do not allow them to take this ground. Take it point. Oh my god. 
Hey Ari, how's it going? Hey Aragon, how's it going? You're uh you're seeing me right now, uh doing the worst I can possibly do. We're losing ground. Fight back. At least I got a kill assist. That's something. Uh, that's uh We are the elite! Whoops, sorry. I'm an idiot. How is this? Fall back! Fall back! We cannot hold off the resistance attack! Well, we could have, just gave us a few seconds. I'm glad you're all good. I'm not. Because look at this, seven eliminations and 14 deaths. Yeah, but, you know, that's not saying much. I've only played, been playing this for like three live streams. But then again, I didn't say I would be good at Overwatch and I got a million points in healing alone. So I guess I'll have to keep practicing. This is a fine can of turnips. <sighs> I knew exactly what I was gonna do today. Wake up, finish editing a video that I was supposed to finish. Shoot a video before I did this. FPS, I don't know what that is. I could Google it, but I'm gonna start a new game. But I'm guessing you're gonna, you're better than that than me. I'm like the kind of lower standard. I just do these live streams just to, you know, put videos on the site. Not even on YouTube, just on my site. I uh, don't even know how to pronounce the site's name, honestly. Like, it's at the end of all my videos. Well, that's not too bad. I mean... Still, it's not... That's not too bad. Oh, no. First-person shooter. Well, I played count. Well, that's fine. I played um, uh, Counter Strike for Steam for like a while there, like a long while. But I never actually um, what's it called? I never um recorded that because I don't know how to record on my laptop. But I never heard of first-person shooter. So, I just play Star Wars for blast mode, so the only way is if... The only way I'll play another mode is if I'm with a friend. Who, I hope, has this game by now. Who I could actually play something with him. Killed by my own gas. This is just like walking into fire. Something I will never live down. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't. I thought, um. I actually thought that, um. It was actually a game, first person shooters. I, I knew it was a genre, but I thought it was a specific game because I've been fooled before. So. I'm an idiot. Yeah, I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah, I'm not very. I'm just not very. Sweeping through. Oh, come on. Yeah, I know I'm playing a first person shooter game, but I don't play many games. Although I have recently, ever since um, Mass Effect Andromeda. I mean, I was supposed to replay the first three Mass Effect games, but I didn't end up doing it. We can dance if we want to. Yeah, so, uh... Don't know why he was right in front of me, and yet I just decided, you know what? Let me just melee him. That worked so well before. You said it, Chewie. Oh, God. And we're winning. Unlike the last time I last streamed, where I lost several times. Follow my lead. I cannot believe that. I can oh my goodness. We're winning, but how? Sorry for stealing your kill. But I had no choice but to steal your kill. Well, actually the guy was there, so I had a choice. My god, why can't they just give me friendly fire in terms of the gas? Oh no, the, the shotgun doesn't seem like a terrible weapon, it's just that I'm not using it properly. And also I have terrible, terrible, terrible aim. Like, that shotgun thing has saved, it's saved me a few times, it's just that I have very bad aim. If you watch my other two live streams of this, I have very bad aim. We can do this. Yeah, we can. It's not like they're gonna get all of us after two. I think what? Eight, we can eliminate two more. Hit him close. Go. We shattered their main I would have killed the mark. Well, we can't take prisoners if they're all dead, dude. Wow. Twelve deaths and eight eliminations. Yeah. 
Yeah, I do a bit. Yeah, but you know, every time I try to do mid-range things, they always seem to find me and kill me. These guys get 20 eliminations. I don't know how I did that with the last Star Wars game. But eight eliminations does seem pretty weak. One day I'll just start as the heavy. But I'm... Yeah, probably the heavy. You're all dead. Rebel guerrillas all over the forest. They have a taste for victory. Let's sour it for them. Yeah, I don't know how that works either. We're losing I, I guess it depends on the point. It's the point thing. I have no idea. The sucky scoring system, but you know what? Yeah, they're gonna fix it. They have to fix it because there's gonna be a, much more, a lot more complaints eventually. You know what? Some people get 6,000, I only get like 2,000. I don't know why I keep using that. I'm ready to go. Come on, man. If we can't stop this, we will lose. Thanks, Mom. At least I'm damaging people, so that's helping. Oh wait, only 49 points worth? Yeah, that sucks. I freaked out and I mixed up the buttons. That's just great. We were rebels once. Last round, remember? We were rebels. It's like we're killing ourselves. Tell you what the plan is, don't lose. Come on, go. 
Oh, I thought I killed him. Who's punching beef? Good to know. Well, he has to run out of bullets sometime. Well, at least I killed somebody. Ready to go. Too bad I had to die very stupidly to get to it. Oh god. Well, I don't really see outdatedness, because quite frankly... I don't care much, as long as I can kill people. In tight. Oh my goodness! Everything's an energy weapon. Yeah, everybody hates energy weapons. Well, not everybody, it's just that I keep getting confused with the buttons. I don't know how to settle my aim, no matter what I do. My aim sucks. Don't shoot, it's only me. I know. Mama, we're all going to hell. Mama, we're all going to hell. Oh god, are you serious? Let's hunt some rebels. They're going to kick me off the like They're going to kick me off the team just for this. Yeah, but here's the thing. I can't keep, like, there's this thing in me where I have to do this, like, to aim. Like, I I'm, I'm trying not to, but it's really hard. Like, I'm gonna look at another gun to use or buy when I level up. Well, well, I'll look for one of those gadding things. It's just that I'm just gonna look at look for it when I level up. And I've been trying to look for like a better thing. Man, these guys are good. Like really good. Wow, eleven deaths and five kills. I'm the second worst player here. That's that's um, not surprising.
on the plus side, only 14 more kills and I'll get a reward. Can I get a lot of these? Considering that I might be playing this for six straight hours, probably. I could probably get these. I mean, if I... If I can beat Mass Effect Andromeda in four playthroughs, three of which are available on my channel because the first one I forgot to record, I can probably do this. As long as I don't get exhausted. Like, I was supposed to go out with a friend tomorrow, but she's busy with work, so I get to do this tomorrow. Probably starting in the morning. Yeah, I'd probably do this in the morning. And then I'll just keep going until... I don't know. Ow. Let's go. <laughs> Let me see, uh... Oh yeah, I was thinking about... I did read a couple of books this week. Because I'm a par I'm a very big bookworm. Um, oh my goodness! I read um, WTF with Mark Maron, where um, it's a book compilated with um, interviews Mark Maron did in the past with uh, some of his interviewers, um, which talk about things like. Um, Sexuality, addiction, um, parenting. And it's actually a really good book, a very good insight um, in terms of uh, what everybody is going through in uh, the acting world and um, music world. Like, it's actually, it's very funny. Like, it's based on um, his podcast, WTO with uh, Mark and Marin. And he and they're talking about um, all these it, these things that go along with their lives, proving that they are like regular people. I mean, they're human. They are regular people. They make mistakes. Celebrities are allowed to make mistakes, and um, I just like the fact like they. They do um, own up to mistakes, and it's very sad sometimes. It's uh, sad sometimes, but it's also really funny. Like some of the like, it's actually a pretty decent read if you uh, want to get some insight into um, uh, how they um, how people react. Like one of the uh, one of the Things that stand out was uh, uh, the part uh, I forgot which chapter, but it was talking. Andre Plaza from um, Parks and Recreation was talking about um, uh, stress and anxiety, and uh, one of those um, in that interview, she uh, said she was so suffering in anxiety that at one point she was talking with a friend. And she was looking over her arm, and she's like, wait a minute, why does my arm look like a foot? And um, she started, like, slurring her words, and it was revealed later on that she had a stroke. She ended up in the hospital. 
and she's like, um, uh, what, how old are you? And she, and she's like 18, and her boyfriend at the time was like, no, she's, uh, she's not 18, she's another age, what's going on? And it turned out, like, yeah, she had a stroke, and she can only say 18, and at one point she woke up, and, um, she kept saying her name because she kept forget she didn't remember it because she kept saying 18 that was all she could figure out or that's all she could say and then one night she woke up and she's like Audrey Plaza she's like kept screaming it and eventually she got back to her um a hospital with her family and so it's like I've never like I've known her we've all known her as uh on Parks Rec as uh pretty much uh this weird Kind of like strangely gothic girl. But, um, hearing about that kind of got me a little bit concerned. And then they got deeper when they talked about like mortality, which is strange. Like, it, which is really strange because um, a few people, like before the um, book came out, a few people actually did die before the book came out. And like Robin Williams talked about like how he was on David Letterman and then on commercial break um, David Letterman went up to him like, went beside him and he's like uh, so um, open heart surgery leaves you a bit vulnerable and then um, Robin Williams actually started crying and I'm like that's really sad because like he said before um, like, open heart surgery makes you really vulnerable. Like, literally exposing your heart for doctors to work on makes you very vulnerable. And, yeah. I don't know. I, uh. How did I do it with a gas grenade? Uh. I don't know, I always like panic every time. And I like, okay, fine, I'm just gonna use a gas grenade. Just in case, I mean, just in case I die, I'm gonna use a gas grenade to weaken them and then I'm gonna start shooting. So if I die, they'll be weakened and I get more points. And it's not really, here's the thing, it's not really a beautiful story, it's just that what I've read and like, how these people have problems like you and me, except it's like on a larger st scale because they're more scrutinized in the public eye. Um, they're more, yeah, they're more closer in the public eye. And sometimes you just gotta little, give them a little bit of leeway because the they're just regular people who actually do extraordinary things. You know? Are you saying that it's not realistic? Because robots can actually... It's Star Wars, come on. Well, it's Star Wars. It doesn't have to make complete sense in terms of killing a gas grenade in the... Um, what's it called? In Star Wars. Using a gas grenade. A gas grenade to kill a robot. It's fine. But uh, back to... um, What's it called? Um, Mark Maron's book. Um, Like... Well, before the book was published, like the problem I had was when before the book was published, there was dedications to people who died before the book was came out, like Robin Williams, Sam Simon, who used to be uh, on The Simpsons, has um like just to work on it. Um, oh, that sucked. Um, Sam Simon, who died um, of lug caster cancer, um, Gary Shandling, there was someone else, I forgot, who died of a heart attack, and, um, it, like, I really like the book mostly because, like, Mark Maron has, like, depression, and he just needed to, like, talk it out because, according to, like, him, the beginning of the book was, uh, the beginning when he started the podcast, he was a mess. Oh yeah, you need to go. That's fine. Alright, I'll see you later. Um, 
he was a bit of a mess when he started the podcast. And so, like, eventually he started the podcast uh, with uh, celebrities to talk about what they're going through. Whether it's funny stories or, like, serious stories. Uh, to show, like, they're vul these, these guys are vulnerable. And, um... Like, th these guys are vulnerable. They're human. And reading that book made me, like, realize, yeah, there's, like... There are more, there's more to like these celebrities and like, oh, I just want to be like them. Like, maybe, like, there's that saying, celebrities overrated. It's like, yeah, it's overrated because you want to be a celebrity, but you don't want to have the crap pitfalls of what it takes to be one. Like, sometimes that's the problem. And like, I don't know, maybe talking about it here is a bit of therapy because again, I don't, I'm apparently the quiet one at work and I'm the quietest one in my family because I don't really talk all that much. Um, but, uh, yeah, I actually really do like enjoy that book and I recommend, um, that W, both the WTF, um, book and uh, the podcast because I've only listened to a few episodes I only listened to a few episodes but um I listened to the Robin Williams episode like before he died like way before he died and I'm like oh this is actually really like he talked about that vul vulnerable uh, vulnerability from open heart surgery, and I'm like, okay, I, I see where his heart is. Like, he has a great heart, and he sorely missed. Like, I remember when um, there was the news that he died. I'm like, oh my god. Like, it was like I uh, a friend of mine told me about it through his cell phone after work. And uh, that confused and it didn't anger me, but it was like, oh my god, this is horrifying. And this was before the big. Uh, I can't. I don't want to say it right now. Um, this was like a huge shock because I grew up watching Mrs. Doubtfire, which I'm gonna be honest does not hold up that much. It's like, oh, it was a family romp, but it's actually a lot more darker than that. Like. Like he he wants he's dressing as a woman a, a nanny to um see his kids, but at the same time it's kind of screwed up because here's the thing, in the book his kids know his kids already know that he's the nanny. Um, so it's like, all right, let's um. Here's here's the thing. I'm I'm not gonna dress up in front of you like this. Unless your mom's around. Unless your mom's around. That's it. That's as far as I'm going to go. Um, but he's going to keep doing it. And when his um, kids find out, I mean, his two kids, not his youngest daughter, played by Matilda's Mara Wilson. It's like, it's understandable, but um, just ease into it. At least ease them into it. At least it's like, hey, um, I'm just letting you know, I'm told, like, I'm dressing up just to get back to your mom because she's being an, a hard ass with me. Yeah, she's being a total hard ass. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to dress up like this when she's around, but I'll be playing old dad when she's gone. And the movie makes Pierce Brosnan look like the like bad guy, but really Pierce Brosnan is a good guy pretty much because he actually is very supportive of his kids like not that Robin Williams' character isn't supportive it's just that um he, he's he disagrees with his wife a lot which is one thing but continually like constantly it's like yeah you really need to stop you really need to like stop you really need to just listen and stop doing the things that you're doing and then what happens they get a divorce so you know it's like don't be surprised you, it, it was for it was 
it was there. The seedlings were there. But yeah, um... It was a shock to see Robin Williams, like, die. Like, hear that he died, and I'm like, oh my god, this, this is, this is bad. No, not, I didn't say, I didn't mean it like that, but this is, like, so I immediately went on CNN, um, watch TV and hear about it to see if it was actually true, and I'm like, oh my god, this is, Christ, you know? And so, again, like, WTF with Mark Marin, like, the book that came out recently and the, um, uh, the podcast are pretty decent. One of the problems I have with the book, the only problem I have with the book is, like, dedicating, um, dedicating the book to people who died recently, but, like, before the book, and it's like, okay, I understand that, but eventually some of these, some more of these people who are in this book will eventually die. And it's like, oh, okay. Like, say somebody's reading that book like five years from now and some of the, some more of these people will die. And it's like, okay, but um, should they update this book or something? I, I'm guessing that's the case if they're gonna, like, updating this book. Yeah, I'm guessing that's the case, but you know, like, I understand if you have to dedicate the book, but unless you're updating it, if you're not updating it, it's not going to make sense because more of these people will die eventually, so. Alright, if six more people need it, okay, that means I'm going to have to um go to another. Yeah, that means I'm gonna have to go to another, um, listen, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to go to another match, so, um, like, it, again, it's a good book, but, you know, and another book I'm reading, I'm actually reading two books that, actually, um, a book I actually finished in one day recently was a book called Boy Meets Boy, which I actually bought from indigo a couple of months ago but i didn't get around to reading it mostly because i bought a lot more books after it and a lot book books i have to read before it and then i keep going to the library and getting more books it's really really something so eventually i ended up just saying you know what i have to read this book because i bought it so i i really need to read it so i read it and i thought it was a pretty cute decent book for those of you who don't know what it's about it's about this kid in high school who what's going on searching for blast okay um so this kid in high school um who's openly gay and a lot of people are supportive of that even his parents even though it took him a while and one day he sees this uh other guy at a bookstore and it's like uh, love at first sight and I thought that was in their trials and tribulations like exes and trust issues and all that there's somebody named Infinity uh, Darlene who's actually he was both the uh, oh come on what wrong while trying to find you a game it's not fair what was that all right so this infinite Darlene character who used to go by Daryl is actually like wants to be more of a woman. So, but he and it's amazing because he, she's she, is um both um a quarterback for the high school football team and homecoming queen. And it's like, oh, you can do both. That's awesome. And um. I actually got the 10th anniversary edition of that book, so it adds on a story about her going on a date with somebody from another football team, 
and I actually want to read that story again, even though the entire story is actually pretty decent. Oh my god. What the hell's going on? Why is it like this? Oh boy. Um, and like she is part of the, like, and they go on a date. And everybody, like, treats her with respect. Like, they respect her decision to um, become a lady. And I think that's a pretty decent um, writing effort. But yeah, the whole book is, like, cute and good. Uh, a brisk read, 200 something pages. What in the world is going on with this? Unopened crates. Let's see what's in the crate here. Something went wrong again? What's wrong with this? Reveal all. Ooh. Nice. Hmm, that's figurable. Yeah, sure, why not? I don't use Leia a lot. I don't use Leia at all. So there's that. Though I don't know what's going on with the, um... The arcade thing. No, no, multiplayer. I'm trying to go through blast mode. But nothing? What's going on with this? Like... It was just fine a second ago and then it just stopped working. Is something wrong with this? I just, I really wanted to do six hours worth of this, but... Oh my god. That's just great. That's perfect. Oh my goodness. Might as well do something else. Yeah, cancel, cause... Come on. Is there something wrong with the internet? Well, it doesn't seem to be because my stream's still going. What the hell's going on with this? I don't want to, um... What the hell's going on? Dude, I canceled everything. Alright. This is something. What the hell's going on with this? Being returned to the title screen. Oh my god. What the hell is going on with this? Seriously. Okay. Um... No idea what's going on with this. It was fine. It was fine just a second ago. Well, a minute ago. Okay, three minutes ago, but it was fine. I don't know what's going on with this. And it's canceled. Oh my god. Alright. 
Um. It's just going to be me wondering what the hell's going on. Oh boy. Um Oh my god, what the hell's going on with this? Like seriously. Uh, no idea what's going on with this. Something is definitely wrong here. I mean, clearly something's wrong here. I might as well just take another... Might as well just do, like, strike or something. Alright, this is also searching. Um... Um, okay, I don't know what's going on, so I'm just gonna, um... <clears throat> Alright, um... I'm gonna pause this. I'm just gonna, like, pause to see what's going on. Like, I'm gonna have to, like, restart this whole thing over again. Because, like, this is just bad.